Still on the page, I am base 16, at the bottom third of the page, the line begins in the word Shepoishit, the second Shepoishit. We said, Machshova has both qualities. On one hand, Poishit Vilevish, he can, he can divest himself of one Machshova, but then he immediately has to put on another Machshova. They cannot be without machshav. He absolutely is bring machshav. This we discussed at great length last night. And I just want to conclude one point that as a result of this of this discussion, we understand what is the principle of Nasev and Ishma. How is it possible to say Nasev and Ishma? Before you understand, before you know what you are accepting, how can you accept it? This is the whole explanation that the acceptance is not because you accept it, but because it's being given to you. But every, in other words, the reality in this is not the fact that you <coughs> sense it, but, that, but that, that there is the Mela who gives it to you. This is this reality. This is why Machshava, this Machshava, Mr. Tetastomia, is instrumental of bringing Chayas Hanefesh into the group. Chayas is exclusively in the in the purview, in the domain of the Nefesh, not the group. The group has no Chayas. Which means at that moment, the group and the Nefesh become one. The group becomes comes alive. Okay, this is this is the conclusion of last night's discussion. In the middle of that line, she plays it. The dibur, this we learned, learned we started yesterday. The dibur, and then there is a next level of a dibur, which is also a levush hanefesh. But there, the levush is more distance. It's not a complete connection. In Dibu, there is a principle, there is a time to speak and a time to abstain from speaking. The possibility of abstaining from of, of speaking means that there is a, there's a moment when you're aware of this aspect of the nefesh, a moment when you're not aware. In Chayus, in Machshove, it's not possible. There will be a moment, yes, a moment, not. Because Chai is, is, has, is a constant thing. That's a Mashom, which is a Tetastom. Dibur is already beyond that. Dibur is already the expression of the Nefesh. To, to letting itself known outside of, of, of its direct presence. So then there is Eis Ladabu, Eis Lachshis Ladabu. It's explained elsewhere. Shagam ha dibur that the dibur too ain't a nifrod beemes. Is not separate beemes. Again, the influence of one beemes. Beemes means in truth. When you say in truth, you're not in contrasting it with falsehoods. The emes is relating to, to the godly truth. There is the, the, the worldly reality, and then there is the godly truth. To put it in our terms, 
in Dibur there is the moment of speaking, moment to speak, moment not to speak. But there is not the moment when a person is not a medaber. When a person is not a medaber, he cannot speak. He doesn't have the capability of speech. I don't mean the capability of speech producing sounds, but bringing his thoughts down to the level of speech. There is no such moment. That's what I mean by Emes. Emes, Dibur, is not really by Emes at a higher level, not on a functional level, but at the defining level of the human being. Dibur is not separate by Emes. Just as we said, really, even at, at a much lower level, and the name, the name is something which is, which is an add-on to the person. Yet, we have pointed out, the name is something which is an intricate part of the human being's presence in the world. If he doesn't have a name, he must have a name. The, the reason he has a name is because he must have a name. Not because it happens to have been given a name. He was not given a name so then that quality that he that he is a, a deserves a name remains the name doesn't create the human being it only expresses it only shows what the human being is <coughs> the similar meaning is in Dibur Dibur is clearly the ability of Dibur is clearly a, a deeper element than the name of a human being. As a matter of fact, this is how the human being is defined, right? Doimim tzemeya chayim medaber. What does medaber mean? Doimim is a constant, he's constantly quiet. So he may mean he's constantly growing. Chay is a constantly, medaber is a constantly talking. The word medabe means a lotion heva. It's a it's a present tense. A person who is constantly talking, you say, "Hey, idiot, get out of here." <laughs> I think before you speak. So, what does medabe mean? Medabe means that his thoughts are constantly being defined at the deeper level. He's aware of what he's thinking. His thoughts are constantly being defined in readiness for speech? For speech. That's not a, that's a, a lower level, deeper level? He, he's constantly getting ready to talk? No, it's not, he doesn't have to talk. But David means that he's capable of producing his thought at the, uh, through deeper. That capability is there all the time. He's not a human being when he speaks, and when he doesn't speak, he's not a human being. He's a medaber all the time. So, in other words, he's a in, he's a constant. He he's carrying on a constant inner conversation. No, not, no. Well, in, in inner he has the machshava. Yeah. But he has the capability of dibur. Yeah. Dibur is a reality. I, I, I don't want to go any further, because this is going to take us away from this. So uh, the point is. That Dibur says, but Emes is a nifrit, a, a nifrit. In the real truth, in the real, real defining element in the human being, Dibur is not nifrit. Even though he can stop speaking. Practically speaking. Behorayo. Behorayo. Okay, this is an interesting raya. Demonstration, the proof that Dibu, that the element of Dibu is not separate from the person. Separated from the person. Jarei, since that we see Hadibu, the word Shaharei, to properly translate it, Shaharei means for behold. Now, which is something which we can recognize, readily recognize. 
Hadibur poil kiru behazuas. Dibur affects a closeness <coughs> behazulas by his counter by the other person. As for example, Odom God, a great person, who speaks with somebody. So this other person is misala. He rises, he is raised up as a result of this communication, of this interchange. And he comes close to the person that to, to the Godom God to whom that, that speaks to him. What is this referring to? A person, if a person serves dinner to somebody, he's also miscarried him. He gives dog to somebody, he's also miscarried him. What is the Dibur? Dibur is miscarried him. What, what is the special Indian that Dibur is not separate from the, from the source? As a result of that, he's miscarried him. When it comes to Maise, through an action, that an action also has an effect to bring people together. Like it says, When people sit and eat together, it has the effect of bringing people together. That's a totally an external thing. And when a person eats, his experience of eating is independent of anybody else. So what is the unique in Indian that in Dibur, that in Dibur, there is the effect that it miscarabel, that brings people close together. To the, and, and that is a proof that Dibur is not a separate entity from the, from the from this medabe. What what's the what's the inference in this? In the in the <coughs> in the mice in the, the cure of that that is affected as a result of an action. Versus the kill is affected as a result of speech, of talking to somebody. In the case of action, the kill is is due to what has been transacted. You receive somebody something from him, and that benefits you. You appreciate it, and that brings you close. It is not the action of of the transaction; it is the transacted, the result of. It. Whereas in Dibur, in Dibur, just the 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 in, the 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 the, the, <coughs> the, con, the con contact that is already the key. The key. I mentioned in the past that an interesting demonstration of this thing. It really is an interesting thing. The villager went to town. To the to the royal city, to the capital city, where the king resides. He came back, and he said, "You know what happened? The king spoke to me. Oh, the king spoke to you. Oh, everybody got this up. What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? He said, get out of here.' Okay. He said, get out of here.'"
the villager senses this as a, as a recognition from the king. Okay, you told me to get out of here, but I'm there. Okay, but this is this is, this is <coughs> villages in, in the concept, but in, in the meaning of a speech, in, in Chesidus gives a motion for this, that if an Odom God asks a simpleton for the simplest of services, Odom God says thank you, please pass me the seed. That gives a sense of a kirov, a, a sense of presence on this, on the simple tool. Not because of the service, not because of the effect of this uh, service. Dibur is a personal expression from this Odom Godel, which means the Odom Godel, as he is in his personal presence, recognizes the presence of this other person, and he can speak to him. So what does this tell us? It tells us that the Dibur is something which is really definitive of the, of the, of the Odom Godel. It's a personal connection. <coughs> this is the Indian, what I said over here, that the Dibur is not Nifred Be'emes. Which means that, even though practically speaking, Dibur is an external thing, and Eis Ledabe, Eis Lachshes Ledamil Dabe, but the, the very, uh, the very fact that he is able to speak is an integral part of the human being, and this integral part of the human being comes to expression when he actually utters a word. Perhaps we can. We can uh, um, kind of get it, get it uh, a little bit closer to our mind, in the sense that um, when a person speaks, the deeper element comes from his nefesh. He's not speaking like a like a robot. He's not pe- he's speaking like a, a parrot. A parrot is also speaking, but a parrot is not speaking. Parrot emulates the sound of the words. It doesn't produce, produce the words. A human being produces the words in sound. That's a completely different thing. This union that a human being has the element that he should produce the words in sound, that is the Madhavir. That is an element of greatness, superiority in the human being. And that is something which is really expressive of his nephews. That's why in Dibur is not really separate. Therefore, Dibur is Makari, because Dibur brings the person to cross him not as a result of the action or what he says and so forth. Because there's a person to person connection there in Dibur. The reality of the Medabir and the reality of the Shemaya come together. Okay? If the speaker is a great person, the recipient of that of, of that speak, speech and that interact in, in, interchange is elevated, which means he's not just hearing the words that are being said, but he's hearing the element of Dibur coming from the source. Therefore, this is what we started off in, 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 in uh, a little while before, like that. 
um, in, in beginning of this parenthesis, uh, about ten lines above, it says, Be protis, who are the way is zilk may had dibur. The meaning of the name is the, the name as applies to as applies to an object is kmeha dibur. This is can be understood like like in speech. And this is what he compl- com- completes now. The Hamoshal the his past was Hashem Alaza Dovor the Moshal, the the analogy that we say that the name the name of a person is mispashi is 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 applied to some object. So we say that then the object is elevated to the fact that this belongs it has it has a, it has a disconnection to this person and that has an effect on the object. This is by his name. This is like we started saying in this parenthesis, this is like like in speech. In the case of the name, in the case of the speech, in both of these instances, Just like in speech, one speaks, the hearer of the speech hears the sound of the words. And yet we say, he hears the sound of the words, but it's not the sound that he connects to, it is the speaker that he connects to. The similar thing is in the, in the name. The name of an object that applied to an object, this is my object, applies these, the, the pronunciation of the name, the the the, uh, the external element of the name. And yet there is a connection to the to the essence of the person. As it is, and then we say that the object that is called by his name and um, is affected by it. It acquires a certain a certain status. It belongs to, to this person. Although there is a complete disconnect over there. It's a phenomenal Indian if we reflect on it. In case of uh, Dibur, and in case, and, and in case of, of, the, of the name, it just goes to, to demonstrate the significance of oil atzmi, of an atzmi. Something that is real, that is true, it, it's, and we print it all the time. We must never lose sight of the fact. All reality is rooted in the fact that Hashem chose to create it. There's a godly element. It didn't. Anything that, that one develops on its own, this is like the, like, the, like the parrot. That's not a real thing. But something has been bestowed by its creator. It has an element of reality, no matter how distant from 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 the uh, from the in, in, uh, pivot, so to speak, from the from the center, source? from the source. I said the source. I, I, I don't want to use the source because the source is the creator. But then that that is reflected. To a, to a to a great to a great distance. Why? Because because the, the creator gave him a, an MS quality. This is what the Rebbe says. That that for for a detailed understanding, if one really wants to understand the union of the name, it is. It is similar to the union of Dibur. The Mikom Okoim Hulavush Han Nivra Minho Just like by Dibur. The Dibur is connected to the source, to the person. He's called a Medavid. 
And and despite the fact that Dibur is called the Bush Hanivdal, there is the effect of the Dibur that these two people who are talking to one another has a kiru between them. A personal kiru. Which means that they're not just listening to the sound of the words. There is a personal interaction. And yet, at the same time, the Mikomokoim, the Mikomokoim, the Mikomokoim, the Mikomokoim, even so, even though Dibur retains that effect, it is nevertheless Lavush Anivdo in comparison to Machshove. It is Lavush Anivdo Minoetsum, it's Lavush that is separate from the from the Yetsum. This is why you can record somebody's speech, you cannot record somebody's thought. Because that remains connected to part of the answer. Thought exists only in the answer. Why he thinks? Speech? You can record, you can transmit it. You know what the other guy said? Okay. It's it's already on a secondary level, on a third level, but nevertheless it is it is it's a Rusha Nivdal and yet it's his speech. We in today's, in our current situation, we experience this very, very, very deeply, very profoundly in the fact that today we have the Rebbe's speech to recording. And we should sit glued to this recording. But it's only recording the speech, it's not the real thing. This is it for this morning. Have a great day.